Another property of even numbers is that they are all divisible by 2. So any even number of objects can be arranged in pairs with none left over. So let's look at the even numbers 6, 12, and 18. If I take six objects and put them in pairs of two, I'll have one, two, three pairs of two with none left over. If I take 12 objects and pair them up in twos, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of two with none left over. 18 pairs of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of two with none left over. All even numbers are divisible by two. Taking a look at the odd numbers, all odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, or nine and they are never divisible by two. If you try to group an odd number of objects in groups of two, you will always have one left over. So for example, the odd number seven has, we pair them up in twos, we've got one set, two sets, three sets, and to get our seventh object, we have one left over, one that's not part of a pair. 13 is an odd number because it ends in 3, and if we try to pair up 13 objects in sets of 2, we'll end up with 6 sets of 2 and 1 left over. 15 is an odd number because it ends in a 5, and if we try to take 15 objects and pair them up, we'll get 7 pairs and we'll get 1 left over. And this is where we get the phrase, odd one out.